Good evening, I'm Giuseppe Vasile, I'm the Anison Chair, you can find at the website www.fibstalker.com. I also post regularly on Twitter using the Fibstalker nickname. Good evening, um, today is October uh, the 8th, it's Wednesday, October the 8th, 2014, it's 11 p.m. time in Toronto. And in this video I'm going to provide to my newsletter subscriber, um, subscribers are a quick... Um, uh, midweek update on the 12 markets I follow. If you want to receive this video, you can just go to my website www.fibstalker.com, subscribe for free uh, to the newsletter, and uh, I send a midweek update on Wednesdays typically and uh, a weekly review, full weekly review on, uh, on Sundays. My method is based on spotting the footprints on uh, price of algorithmic trading, it's quite unique, and uh, um, I also have a proprietary fib stalking technique it's a timing technique that i use to procedurally test the area of support of resistance and it's based on the existence of program trading or large volume market on the smaller time frames the method also allows price discovery so allows to uh, um, provide a, a forecast towards the, um, the probable direction of the market when some specific levels are, uh, are actually um, are actually broken so let's review quickly uh, how i've been playing this market in the last few months uh, people who follow me will remember that i mentioned and traded this 136.68 into first and second target and at the time i was looking at 130 as the level 130.20 as the level of uh, support for this market the level never played but that didn't um, you know that anyway allowed us to Keep trading this market and actually the next trade i mentioned on, on uh, september the 16th on the um, on fs street uh, lar the live analysis room with del pinker i mentioned live this uh, area of resistance 129.84 price never went above 130.14 and then he came into the first and second target and as you can see there was a reaction at the second target 127.11 and there was an indication that actually this market and this this market actually was continuing in measure move longs uh, shorts the next measure move didn't come from the uh, previous anchor but came from an inner move when we see this move lower or higher there are always inner moves uh, that uh, we can use to model the market and as you can see here the market again reacted that 129.05 and that's a level that if we keep tracing Fibonacci we could discover the day before as you can see the price went into the first and second target of this new trace and then there was a reaction right at that second target and uh, the market actually continued uh, trading in extension short here until we got to, uh, to this um, um, new 127.56 uh, price uh, traded into the first and second target and we actually could trade this because we knew now the new anchor uh, from which uh, uh, trading the um, the um uh, the fibonacci study and the next measure move 2633 um, found participation and then eventually broke and uh, i mentioned that i wanted to get a confirmation for a for a move uh, uh, for the start of a move higher of a of a, um, an actual uh, profit uh, profit taking here from this big short since now um uh, basically uh, may last uh, last year so i believe that uh, measure move higher has started and i believe that there's the potential to bring price into the next extension start on the weekly this market has not finished on the downside make no mistake i'm looking for 121.20 at least in the euro so mm, we can get there after our uh, a reaction higher into the next area of uh, resistance Congratulations to those who uh, traded this 18, uh, 19, uh, 20 area here. The market reacted uh, a few days ago and then came to test it again uh, yesterday and today we saw again this move higher. So this market is actually going into the first target. I'm going to show you this on the uh, daily time, uh, on the weekly time frame here. And actually, as you can see, there is an extension long at 1920. Uh, 25 year 50 and the first target is going to be 2057 um, this is it for the sp500 moving to the dollar index i just want to notice that the dollar index futures contract 
actually went into that 86.80 area I've traced uh, uh, a few weeks back telling that the market could actually react at the level. We are getting that reaction and now there is the possibility for this market to retrace all the way all the way into the 84 uh, level. So that's what I'm looking for for this market. For uh, gold, um, I want to uh, review with you the sequence of measure move uh, short here and there's a possibility that gold also will confirm the large area of support which is below it if you look at the weekly chart you see that this 1231 was actually confirmed once in uh, june 2013 and then again at the beginning of this year so we are back into this uh, area potential support and uh, participation uh, long and uh, we will have a confirmation when the sequence of measure move failed so let's look at that sequence um, uh, lows to uh, highs to lows here traditional trading to the first target here and then continued the market was then picked up by a by an inner move here as we can see um, this was actually the um, the level that traded and uh, the market continued lower into again first and second target here so this showed that the market continued trading in extension shorts and again, tracing from lows to lows, we had that 1240 level of participation. First and, and first target and the second target was not it, uh, not before the market would get into the next measure move short. And all these trades I can trade, I can trace with days in advance, sometimes weeks on the larger time frame months. And that's where we look, where I look for participation of program training. Program training is, a, is an important class of algorithms. Everybody speaks about high frequency trading, but nobody speaks about uh, what really moves the market. Because, and there is a reason for that, because high frequency trading can be actually, uh, cannot be exploited by, by human traders because uh, it's too fast. But uh, program training, it can. And as you can see here, uh, now it is 12.34, we're pressing to first target. Uh, the next measure move is where we, we got uh, participation um, today. And um, we can see this um, pin bar here. The reason for that was participation on the downside, downside from program sharing 12.19. Uh, now, as you can see, this area of potential resistance is being, uh, is being put under pressure. So there's a possibility for uh, this wall sequence of measure move short being violated, which would be an indication of a renewed move higher. Moving to the US dollar to Japanese yen, I mentioned that um, I mentioned the um, in my last review on Sunday that uh, if you review that, if you haven't reviewed, just review it. I showed this measure move. Um, remember that I, I traced this area of resistance uh, as support and my stop loss is the red line. Now, I also have a technique which I already mentioned before, the FIB stalking timing technique. I study the sequence of measure move on the shorter time frame, and when there is a violation of those, then I trade in the direction of this larger area of, of support. And as you can see, market went into this first target, and then again the market, the next measure move was the uh, was this uh, this trace here. And as you can see, there was a violation of this. Uh, area which means that the market is actually correcting what is it correcting i have uh, an important level is the previous high on this larger move here and actually uh, i already uh, and actually i, I uh, actually uh, showed these levels on uh, on sunday as well and as you can see today we got a reaction right at that 107.86 so if the market can stay above this level and above the 107.21 we're going to continue higher from here and uh, that will depend also on what the dollar will do the dollar index however dollar index could continue lower and this price just keep <clears throat> uh, bouncing uh, up uh, a higher and low and low uh, on this um, area of support 107.77 uh, uh, if the price goes below 107.21 then we have the potential to trade into 106.60 and that's the next level so at the moment I would consider both of these levels the euro versus Japanese yen went to retest that uh, important area of support as we as I mentioned here and um, it didn't touch it last week but this week actually went 
throw it and into it and then the sequence of measure move lower failed here so this is an indication that this market uh, uh, actually has now the potential to go all, at least all the way back and it is actually bouncing between a larger area of support which is the uh, weekly area here and of course um, a, um, a weekly area of resistance here which is the one that uh, that you see here so we are constrained between support and resistance here so there is the possibility for this market to go all the way back into 141 or at least to go back into um, the 138.90 level this is these are the price discovery capability of the method I use and again <clears throat> this method leverages uh, what program trading is doing in the market i also teach a um, coaching program on uh, on these methods if you are interested contact me at fibstalker uh, at gmail.com or just hit reply on the newsletter moving to the pound versus japanese yen here um, this market is in a, a different uh, situation but uh, Likewise, the US versus Japanese yen is trading a, a weekly extension here, 165.80 is the level. And as you can see, three weeks ago, this weekly extension broke price into first target, this 117 and 11, as we, uh, uh, as we told. Now, um, when we have these moves, within these moves, there are um, uh, a number of other moves that take place on the smaller time frame. And let me show you a few of them. Uh, we had uh, the move, this move here, which actually traded uh, 169.50, and that was uh, identified uh, by me at the beginning of July. And eventually, at the beginning of September, when to trade the level, we could time the sequence of measure move short here. And then when they broke, uh, there was an opportunity for a long year in 10 days, very very good trade up to 20 uh, reward to risk depending on how you would time this so the market is now coming back and it's coming back towards the next measure move now this next measure move failed so i'm looking for a, a larger retracement that will uh, remove uh, this level and i'm looking for a retracement now into the 172.25 if that retracement does not happen immediately um, that becomes a very good opportunity to wait for this market to break the sequence of measure move higher and then trade into this level. So that would be a very, very good trade to be taken here. Moving to the euro versus the Canadian dollar, uh, those who follow me will remember that I've been timing this, uh, this pair uh, since and following it since the end of May. I also had an interview with um, uh, Duke Ascopi on this um, pair and I showed this measure move which it fit first first uh, first and second target and then uh, tracing from uh, lows to lows in this case I follow the rules here um, there was an opportunity to take another low another uh, short here at 147.14 and this could be anticipated with uh, you know two weeks uh, two weeks of time here and then uh, that brought eventually us into first and second target and uh, you can see how and the second period that was profit taking. This profit taking was aggressive enough to break the sequence of measure moves. So there is the potential for this market to trade, uh, still trade lower. However, I think that this, this market is going to correct likewise the others. But this market did not get into that level that I was looking for, which is 138.50. Uh, let me um, let me change the settings here uh, because I want to show you the level where the level is coming from. It's coming from these lows to highs, and um, that's that level is exactly this one that is here, one thirty fifty. So we didn't get there, and that level is gonna act as an attractor if you wish, or a level where there is participation for program trading on the larger time frame. Moving to the pound versus the US dollar. Uh, on the other hand, I call this 160 uh, when uh, at the beginning of July here, there was a sequence of measure move shorts. And there was also a sequence of measure move uh, short in the last two weeks on this market. And they broke price into first and second target. And today there was uh, actually uh, yesterday, well, today there was a confirmation today on Wednesday. That's the Wednesday bar. There was a confirmation of this large area of support. So we're going higher in this market where we could go. We could go at least into the 
all the way all the way back here which is the uh, 165.70 we'll need to see whether when the move lower of the euro dollar resumes so make no mistake the euro is going lower uh, what we're going to see in the next uh, two to three weeks to four weeks is going to be only a reaction higher into 130 and this market is going to probably follow the same a reaction into 165.70 so it's going to provide uh, an opportunity to sell as well Australian dollar versus US dollar again same situation we had a nice sequence of measure move short here and I can show that sequence uh, to you here there was um, the uh, lows to lows from um, the weekly lows here two lows and that was the first trace 1911 which were pressing to first and second target and then it was just a continuation of a sequence nice and, and clean sequence of measure move lower here showing that this market is actually very very um, um uh, very nice volume and very very good presence of program training but when we saw the um the failure when i saw the failure of this measure move here uh, with the market uh, going into the oed 652 i mentioned that we could have a quick um move higher so where this market is going this market is is actually does not have any uh, important uh, support here um, below price um, actually you know people could uh, are going to invoke the same uh, lows here or whatever but the reality is that this market is still to correct into the OED uh, 950 here so how we get there I don't know uh, what I know is that this might just be a reaction higher and the first uh, area I'm going to I'm going to look at it's going to it's going to be for me the all the way halfway back here that would be one of the areas and if this if this move is not that aggressive i think uh, likewise the euros we could just uh, get into the 8942 but i think probably probably this market is going higher i mean the market will tell us where it stops where the sequence of measure move stops uh, that it's when the new shot will be starting again and um, US dollar versus the Canadian uh, yen, I mentioned there was this 1250 level of resistance. Uh, I go back and watch my videos. Also, I didn't trust this um, this sequence of, uh, of measure move high, higher here because we had participation at this 10808, but then, uh, and price was brought into the first target here, but then we did not have participation at the next measure move and however you dice and slice this uh, there is anyway a violation of uh, of the sequence of measure move so to me and we knew this already before because from the weekly time frame uh, this 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 move lower actually violated a very important level um, and so now I'm looking for actually a correction all the way into the uh, 109.45 and finally the new zealand dollar versus us dollar i mentioned an important uh, level of support here that was tested twice this level of support is obviously a previous measure move that uh, was tested twice and is finding participation again when this market where this market is going well it is going at least into the extension short here it could take two or three weeks to get there or maybe just one week and we will see what happened at that uh, 080 50 60 area here and uh, this could be timed as well uh, using the FIP stalking timing technique this is it for today i hope you enjoyed this review uh, be careful if you are in short we are in a strong uh, potential uh, short covering of the this big short that we had in the last few weeks and this is it for today. If you want to have questions about the FIP stalker methods that they use to study the market and trade the market, as I showcase here, just let me know. Uh, you can send me an email at fibstalker um, at gmail.com or just hit reply to to this um, uh, to this um, uh, uh, to my newsletter. I want also to. Uh, uh, say that I'll be um, uh, having a speech for fstreet.com at the uh, Toronto Money Show next Thursday the 16th. So if you are around the GTA or in Toronto, Canada, um, I'll be I'll be glad to have a chat with you. Look for me at the FS Street uh, 
uh, stand the October the 16th 3 30 it's gonna be um, my speech uh, and I will talk about I will touch about uh, on my on my method as well thank you very much and have a great evening